Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we seek to conform, to be conformed to Christ, like St. Charles Borromeo, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. If we have sent you the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O oh Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again so that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your, on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give place to God. So each of us shall give account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. 
I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. There is one thing I ask of the Lord. Only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, to inquire at his temple. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. <laughs> to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I'll give you, and I will give you rest says the lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having 10 silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin which I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today, St. Paul reminds us of our duty as Christians. And our major duty as Christians is to keep our identity. 
as Christians, we are Christians because we believe and we follow the words and deeds of Christ. That is, we are identified with Christ. It's absurd today that we have self-made human beings or self-made Christians. They always shout out and cry, I am fighting for my own identity. I am fighting for my space. I want to do it myself. I want to do it my way. And therefore, I do not need your help. My dear brothers and sisters, you are self-deceived. Our value as Christians is measured in our obedience to Christ, in our obedience to his words and deeds. Crying I, I, I all the time makes us go astray. And so we identify ourselves with Christ. We do not do it our way, but we do it the way Christ does. We do not have our own identity. And that's why St. Paul says today, my dear brethren, none of us lives for himself, and none of us dies for himself. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. This is what we are. We are just instruments to manifest the words and deeds of Christ. We are just like a pen in his own hand. Therefore, he uses us to write whatever he wants. If he wants to write an A and you write a B, this means we are going astray. Sometimes because of our woundedness, because of our weaknesses, or maybe because you are sick, we go astray and we lose our identity. Like the lost sheep, we need someone to come for us. We need someone to put us on his shoulders, to bring us back home in our community. For it is here that we find our identity as captains. When we pray together, we eat together, we share all our things together, this is our identity. If we decide to get lost, like the lost coin, Father Michael will sweep everywhere, even under the beds, in order to find you. And if he finds you, he will call all of us to rejoice because the lost coin has been found. My dear brothers and sisters, a family that prays together, a family that shares meals together, a family that shares the joys and sorrows together is a Christian family. And therefore we pray today that our faith may be strengthened and we do not lose our track. We do not lose our identity. Our focus is Christ. Let us bless the Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His own church. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles Borromeo, and grant under the power of the sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues. So may you make us abound in good fruit by our works, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is through the right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Charles Borromeo, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end, we acclaim. Two seconds. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And for this resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, our dear church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop David, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Father Deogratius, Brother Innocent, Brother Eugene, Brother Paul, Brother Charles, Brother Eugene, Teresia, Agnes, Patrick, Glory, Bartholomew, Amadeus, Ludovic, Felicity, Bella, and your gracious Clemence, whom you've called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Remember also, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which you have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made Saint Charles Borromeo faithful in ministry and vibrant in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Does go in. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.